Hey, how's it going? In this video, I want to show you a simple workflow of taking notes and collecting highlights in Napkin, which is an AI visual note-taking app that I reviewed a while ago. If you've read how to take smart notes or are familiar with the note card system of Ryan Jose or Robert Green, Napkin is a perfect tool for that. So let's dive in. One of the best ways to get going in napkin is to start by collecting inspiring ideas, highlights, and quotes to populate your knowledge base. To do that, you want to use the web clipper. Using this, you can easily import any text into napkin. You can just highlight the part you like and hit send to napkin. Then it will become a new note card. Here you can see napkin doing its AI magic, automatically giving it relevant tags, Anyway, if you also want to collect quotes and inspirations on the go, you can use its iOS app. Like the browser extension, just highlight the part you like and hit share to napkin. Once in a while, you want to review the note cards you created, which are in your inbox. You can initiate inbox review from the search menu. Here, it's not like you have to do anything. It's totally okay to just see the ideas you collected and the automatically made connections by the AI. This is probably the most fun part of using napkin. It automatically connects ideas and presents them to you so you can find surprising links to previously collected ideas. Instead of dumping more and more ideas on one pile, a dynamic swarm of thoughts emerges and you can find connections across different publications. The more tags you add yourself, the better napkin understands how you think and improves the tagging system for the next ideas you collect. While editing the tags, you see new connections popping up in real time. By the way, you can also see the source URL if you ever want to go back to the context. And if a note card isn't what you need, you can just press Shift A to archive it. Reviewing note cards like this is strangely calming. I know some people just cycle through their notes every morning or evening instead of doing meditation or journaling. In fact, it became a part of my daily routine when I was reviewing napkin. Each morning, I just open napkin and see the note cards I got. Alright, so that is one way to use napkin, especially for collectors, by which I mean the people who just like to curate their own favorite quotes and inspirations. But if you like writing or creating content, you can take even a step further. That is to use the stacks, which are super useful for writing blog posts, book chapters, essays, and so on. Stacks are like topics or writing projects. As you review your note cards, think, how can I use this idea and put it into one of the writing projects you have or create a new one? This is exactly the process of bottom-up note-taking suggested in How to Take Smart Notes by Song Ahrens, as well as the writing method of Andy Matschak, who likes to put each note into a potential outline. By putting note cards into a stack each time you review, you can let topics naturally emerge and by the time you have enough note cards, you can just reorganize them and move them to a writing app like Google Document, Word, Obsidian, or whatever you like. Then all you need to do is just fill in the gaps and make it more coherent. Within just 30 minutes or so, you can even complete a whole article and publish it. This is the biggest strength of the bottom-up note-taking method. You can see topics naturally develop instead of having to start from scratch and a blank screen which looks absolutely daunting. Napkin for sure is one of the most exciting note apps I've reviewed this year. It's still in beta, but has tons of potential. They are now developing a better mobile app so you can see your notes on the go. Also, Readwise integration might be on the way too, which I'm very excited for. Anyway, don't forget to check out my full review to learn more about this app. And if you're interested, you can try Napkin from the link in the description. You can have a one month free trial so you can see if you like it or not. Okay, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!